Hi, welcome back to another uh, tutorial. So, in this tutorial, we will see how we can create different uh, app setting files and uh, we can consume that based on current environment. So, uh, to allow uh, environment specific app setting files, uh, we need to add multiple add JSON file uh, methods. Uh, we need to chain them together. Uh, here so what I mean by this is uh, currently we are just using add file dot json so scenario is that sorry app settings dot json and the scenario is that uh, this is this is working fine on my machine and as soon as I create its you know production release so I don't want to uh, I don't want to use this file because this is for my local system so I for the production I want app settings dot production dot json so how to make uh, this configuration part so dynamic that we can use both of them and on my system it should pick app settings dot json and on when I release that code it should pick uh, app settings dot production dot json so let's see how we can do, do that so first of all we need to add environment uh, variable here so if you go to solution properties and debug you can add it right here so let's see let's uh, uh, name it um, dot net console env right uh, let me copy that one and let's name it production right so I just have added that I will save this file and basically by changing this environment we will be having a uh, launch settings dot json file which will be there in properties folder and here we will you know uh, there will be property added for environment variables uh, object and we have a key and a value so this was the first thing we need to do and the second thing is we need to go to our uh, block db context here we need to set the environment like this and if I environment dot get environment variable like this and here I will going to use the name of that key that I have created so it will pick that keys value from that launch settings dot json file right and the next thing is let's compose a environment specific json file and for that one let's use string interpolation <coughs> dot <coughs> json like this so we have uh, patch current environment value we have prepared the environment specific JSON file name and next thing will be to just add add JSON JSON file and here we will consume that environment specific JSON file and uh, we will give this optional proof <coughs> right so let me copy paste the original app setting json file and we will rename it for production right and uh, let's say i have a db right so in on production we have block dbj and on local I have 
block db right right so in that case let's see what happens all right so it is picking the uh, app settings of production.json so to verify that let's let's exclude this from the project and press ctrl f5 you can see that it's still picking that one all right so this is how we make multiple uh, you know app settings.json files and uh, in exclude those one from a specific from specific branch so that it file this file can't get pushed and you know doesn't include in the solution so this is how, how we can uh, use environment specific settings for different environments uh, let's say we have uh, development quality and production so in that case we will ha have three files app settings dot production app settings dot development and app settings dot quality right and the full for the local one we can only consume app settings dot json file right so this is how we can uh, uh, consume those configuration specific to the environment so this was a very uh, you know short uh, tutorial on consuming app setting .json file uh, I hope you guys understand now how to consume those configurations specific to environment and make them dynamic so for the next video stay tuned bye bye